Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. Another refreshing morning with another refreshing release. Our star subscription. <laughs> so, I mean, like, if there is, is something that we know is Sally's gotta sell something before he start his video. So, our successful launch with our Divine Feminine, which has sent, we have sent out hundreds already. Amazing. Um, then, of course, um, it grew, okay? Because I know the full moon candle, I use it every time. I use candle 24-7, okay? There's like three candles lit in this house every time. Um, because when you're manifesting, you do not stop. That's one thing, okay? You keep, the, you keep the energy there. So now it comes here, which is the full moon. You can check it out. You can also get the um, diffusers now ready to deliver it every time in your place. So it comes in a subscription. And then if you sign up now, you get a Remedy Lucky Charm pouch together with it. The incense also is available now in our star subscription also. So the refill pack. So I know a lot of people got the, the whole set. You can get the refill also delivered to you. So do check it out. And that one comes with a free selenite chakra plate. Okay? So those are the things that we um, have added to our subscription. So you can go to my website and you will see their star subscription. And you can just choose which star are you. Okay, so that's that. Uh, definitely a must see okay and if you haven't subscribed to our divine feminine um you're missing out a lot okay because that is a free okay um that one is um free shipping and if you order your first you get our lavender amethyst bracelet for free all right so we just keep giving here to be honest we barely do anything that you know but it doesn't come with anything free okay here we go let's see so what's going on Let's see from Virgos. Oh, spicy. Okay. You got a two of ones first. So, choices, options, doors opening, venture, Mars in Aries. A lot of things probably that you want to do right now is just doing on your own. It's like individuality. It's some, it's uh, like I, I've got my mind focus here and then my, my mind focus there. It's not about relationship. Of course, a lot of people go here for relationship reading, but the energy of a 12th one is a choice. You would need to make a choice whether you are really for commitment or for your own goals and dreams. Now, of course, relationship sometimes does help with our dreams. But here it's showing that you got to do this on your own first. Uh, Mars is not a planet of couple. That's Venus for couple. Mars, you know, they they thrive on their own. Okay. Um, because Mars is the general. Mars is this. But Mars does not look for fight. Okay. It looks for things to get done. Accomplishment is Mars. So people have good Mars. They accomplish a lot of things in their life. But of course, they accomplish it on their own. Mm -hmm. That's that one. So this is where you're, you're, I feel like, leaning towards to. Maybe it's time for me just to set my thing, I mean, like set things on my own first and then see it from there. You see that? Mm -hmm. You will see. Aries and Scorpio Ascendant have a tendency to do things on their own and they thrive on success. Those are people who are go-getter. Of course, depending on where Mars is uh, positioned, okay? Because if there's no affliction on Mars, you know, it has good yogas, then you're talking about this person is just going to go to whatever that they want to do and they're going to finish it. Now, <laughs> look at this. Two of Cups. So this comes now. Um, the afflict, this is Venus in Pisces. Um, the Two of Cups is an energy of, um, of course, <laughs> love, romantic connection. Um, there are people who thrive on both, that they can do work and then, you know, do the romantic connection and be success. On my experience of what I have seen, you cannot mix both, okay? Now, you can disagree with me, of course, but this is what I've seen. When you are trying to make a change, a big name, like you want to have, you have a big dream, the journey has to be with Mars first before you go to your Venus, which only means relationship comes after. You try to mix both, you will ruin the relationship because Mars is not about partnership. Okay, it's a driving motion. It gets things done. 
So you want success, you got to face it on your own first, and then you get the relationship. That's how I organize things. Until you're accomplished, that's the only time you should be in a romantic connection. It is not alone. People always say it's lonely in the top. I always say it is exclusive. Not everybody will reach the top. There are a lot of bottom feeders than the people who are really in the you know, like enjoying some side of some sort of like um, pleasure in life, which is Venus. Once you're in the Venus stage already, all the pleasure is there, all the luxury is there. So do your Mars get to Venus? Okay. You got two of Pentacles. Oh boy, Virgo, you got a lot of choices here. There's all twos, crossroads, choices every time. Um, you're not even Gemini, but you're. Um, I feel like you're having one of those days where it's like, should I choose love, career, love, career? Again, if you're a person who's going to say, well, I can have both, that's all on you. From what I've seen, chart-wise, experience-wise with other, it cannot be both. It will delay the other. You will get the successful relationship, will delay your career. Will You will get a successful career, delay the relationship. It doesn't come hand in hand, okay? It doesn't Because there, look, there will be sacrifice, for example. Let's just say you have a kid, then of course the energy of the mom now will go to the kid and then the success of the mom, you know, there's a different success with being a mom. That's a different thing from their career. Sacrifice has to be made. So ask yourself right now, what matters to you? Your love or your career? Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands. So you're surrendering right here. So there's a lot of things that you need to give up in order to get one. Because mm -hmm. it feels like you take responsibility for everyone. So you cannot be a superhero, Virgo. I know you try to be every time to be that superhero, but you have to face it. Okay. A lot of people will go very, very high school-ish in their 20s. I don't care, in their 30s that, oh, romantic connection, it is, it's, it's going to be the solution to everything in my life. It's only doing that because they feel that there is a void. When you go to a relationship and there is a void, I don't care whatever age you are, you're just going to consume the other person. It will dry the two of you. It will separate. Not until you have managed everything in your life. You've explored everything. And this is what I see here. You need to make a choice. If you are whole, then you're ready. If it's not, then don't go into a relationship. The hangman over here with the full card and the sun. You want to be successful and famous. Let's just say that because the sun is recognition. Two of coins. You're going to be managing a busy career, I'm seeing here. You're going to be... Because I, I, normally Virgos are very... For whatever reason, okay, you guys are good singer, good writer, composer, musicians, okay? Ascendant when I'm talking about this, okay? Um, you, got, you guys have that potential. A lot of Virgo Ascendant are famous, okay? Are famous. And they're always in a pop scene. I don't know how and why, but because the thing is, you guys have a tendency to work hard like crazy mother. Okay, you guys don't stop. It's a six house energy. I need to work. I need to work. I need to work. Okay. And this is what it's looking like. With the full card over here with the two of cups, only a fool right now will turn everything back around just for love. But then, of course, there's that love boat. What if I miss the chance out with the, with that? With the full card. If this is the person that I love and I will never... You can't have both. You can't have both. Not right now, though. So you got to choose what to compromise. Your love is here. The hangman. You would have to think about this. Okay. Now, on my end, for example, okay, um, from what I've seen with people, a lot of people will choose love, which is there's nothing wrong. Okay. A lot of... I mean, majority would choose love. That's already given a fact. Uh -huh. But that love will not endure. Because it was at, it was only reacting on a void. There's emptiness in it. Mm -hmm. Sadly, ten of swords. You see that? Mm. You get the six of wands, page of coins. Invest in yourself with the star card. Uh, with the ha with the sun card over here. This is the perfect time for you to chase your dreams. Go for it. Invest in yourself. You will not have this chance again. If this producer walks into you, if this manager walks into you, if this production goes into you, or if this business is, you know, is gonna go to success, this is the only moment that I'm seeing that you're gonna get it. With the Ten of Swords, of course, that's a lot of pressure. You feel like, well, I'm betraying myself if I don't accept this love right now. Six of Wands over here with the full card. They're saying here that there will be a lot more to come. So do not just romanticize one person with the two of cups. Oh, this is the it. This is it. 
if everything is this is it in high school, you're already married. Because this is it, right? High school, this is it. This is the only person I will ever be loved. Really? Okay. And then what? Lunch period, someone comes along. Oh my God, I'm in love again. Exactly. With the King of Swords, Knight of Cups over here, you're determined to be a success, Virgo. You're determined to break the rules that people already have set laid out. Okay, so I feel like you're a game changer with the Page of Coins. You will find out the answer within you that, you know what? I'm going to take this Sun card and I'm going to make myself a success. And it doesn't mean I'm going to be alone. It only means that I am fulfilling what my Atma wants, your soul desire. Once you know your Atma, what your soul desire is, you have to fulfill that first. Let's just say, of course, we have different Atma, but the Sun is our you know, natural Atma. We all have our purpose in our life. If we fulfill that first, then you don't have a void. Exactly. Then you come into relationship. Exactly. Does it make sense? Okay. So rise to your success and fame first. And we'll see what happens in the love. Okay? Link down there in the description box below. I know there's someone who likes you, but I just basically put them in the back burner because I want to give you guys a driving force to your success. Okay. They're here though. They want second chance with you and they're trying to get your attention. I know. I just eliminated those messages because it's like, ah, whatever. But they're here. They're chasing you. Okay. So um, follow me in Extended. Wonderful energy for you guys. Uh, make sure you check out our star subscription. It's right here. Sign up to my newsletter. It's free. I send out free horoscope weekly. And all, actually, this is not just weekly. Every week, there's a new horoscope, depending also on the transit. I sent out one yesterday. You just have to go to my website, scroll all the way down. You put your information and you get it for free when I send it Monday, Wednesdays, and um, I believe Friday and Sunday also. Okay? So you get it from Aries all the way to Pisces. All right. And for everything that you need, download my app, Eat, Read, Love, the only place that you should be getting all your crystal, metaphysical, magical, mystical needs. There's only one brand that you can trust, and it is Eat, Read, Love. I'll see you guys. Bye. Thank you.